Okay, ready? Angels of God are praying. Ready? Here we go. The stout-hearted are spoiled. They have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might have found their hands. Ready? This proves every single thing this guy named Jonathan Clegg has been telling you, that you're an angel, that you got trapped in a host body. That's how they kill you. They baited you into taking the host body. That's why there's tissues called bait. And it says, F you on the tongues, pay me. Okay, I'm sorry I'm pissed, but I've had enough of this. I'm just going to crank this out. I've been fighting this thing all day. It's, I mean, last night, today, it's enough. Ready? The stout-hearted. What are the stout-hearted? Here it is. Ready? The stout-hearted are who? An angel. The reason it says bull, it's, it's a male. Angel, bull, chiefest, mighty one. See it? Angel, bull, chiefest, mighty one. Stout-hearted, strong one. From the root, and I quote, mighty, spoken of by God, mighty ones. Amen. And then it says, Abar to soar and to fly. So the stout-hearted, who are the stout-hearted? They are God's angels, angels of God, are spoiled to drop or to strip, by implication to plunder, to make self a prey, hunted for dinner, for hunted, right there, to make self a prey. They have slept their sleep. Um, from 3462, let's see if it'll give it to me right here. To sleep, to grow old, to die. To sleep, to grow old, to die. Remember in Genesis, and Adam was put to sleep. He was stupefied with death or with sleep. And then Eve was taken out of his side and it bowed the other direction to curve or to bend or to bow the opposite direction. That's why you have one like this and the other like this. Here you go. I'm going to prove it all day long now. And they know I can prove it, and they're freaking out. There you go. So the angels of God are spoiled. They have been turned into a prey, and they have slept their sleep to sleep or to die and to grow old. And none of them have the men of might, of force, men of force, and army, virtue, men of valor, have found to come forth, to exist, to see the word meat. That's from Genesis, and I will make a meat for him. Adam, when Adam's put to sleep, I will make a meat for him to encounter his other half. So, then, and none of them have met to meet, to be present, their hands. Ready? Pay Indicating attention. power means or direction, and it means the hollow of the hand to curb or to bow. There it is. Ready? That is made manifest all day long by me turning everything upside down. That's how you meet your bow. That's how you meet your other half. That's the way you get out of the trap. And they know that I have the scriptures behind me. So these little chicken shits have been attacking my stuff nonstop, trying to stop you guys from getting this stuff. Amen. And I've had enough. I don't care. They can keep trying, but I'm not stopping. So there it is. There is the scripture now. Here's what I think I'm going to do before everything implodes on this one. Now, let me show you this. Watch. Genesis 3.23, And the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. You know what that is? To keep the way of the tree of life. The word way means to string a bow by treading on it, by bending. I don't know if you've ever strung a bow. You put one leg through it, you step step on the tip, and you bow it down and you string it. And it makes an arch. I used to be an archery. There it is, right there. And now those scriptures are out in the public domain. I want to make sure these get out because once it's out, they can't stop it. Amen. So I'm the point, man. There it is. It's not, it's not arguable. So what I'm going to do right now is before anything else happens to this video, because something will happen, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put this video up right now. 